and please and to all my subscribers my viewers the obedient family active citizens and nigerians thank you for joining me once again we've been talking about the gods of this government and the, di the dictatorship that is actually happening and it's like whenever we talk about it the worst get to happen now we talked about how protesters were actually captured or kidnapped by the police and they are being taken to the courts who in turn are actually playing by the gallery of the government trying to silence the freedom of or the rights of nigerians and trust me they are coming to tell nigerians that the 10 people they granted bail in court today are expected to pay 10 million naira for their bail each because they came out to protest or they called for a protest and then suddenly the police commissioner in abuja that actually did all those mess ups of shooting at protesters and everything have been promoted given a better rank this is the country we are in impunity stripes i keep bringing out all this news to let you guys know the level at which these guys are willing to go and then a small group have come out to protest in preparation for the october protest and they are telling the government you cannot actually shut us up we will do what we have to do because this is our right and while this is going on there is so much so much unbelievable unimaginable things going on how they are using institutions to actually you know steal money how they are using it to siphon a lot of stuff i'm going to be showing you peter we on the other hand have made he granted an interview on new central and man did he did do he did a good job of actually knocking off tinobo and his government and i can tell you you want to listen to it i believe the video is full, full video is going to be out by 8 pm today so that you can actually see it but i'm going to be dropping the snippet of what he did so that you can have a taste of what you are actually going to be seeing but before that let me show you that even those that advised us before not to protest they have started telling everybody it's time to hit the streets what is video and when i come back we'll continue i also understand that the police too is also has also penned down a lot of names that they still wants to arrest in, in regards to people who are actually protesting and want to use this opportunity to remind the government that the suffering in the land is actually becoming a, a, enormous just recently again, just few days ago, petrol price has actually been... No, they will. They have something coming. You know, NASA has told them there's going to be a call out. I'm sure it won't take long before labor joins them. And by the grace of God Almighty, we will all empty into the street and ensure that go the will. If they will not listen pro appropriately, if they think that anybody's going to allow them... Do you think that this government is not listening? No, I think this government is sheer, irresponsible and incompetent. Nobody has time for pussy putting and powder in their face anymore. What do you think they are doing? Do you know what's going on in the country? Do you know how many lives have been lost as a result of their useless policies that doesn't make sense? What kind of person who calls himself an accountant would not know that a nation that is so export dependent, you got to manage your exchange rate, how by crook or by means, or whatever means. What kind of person comes onto a chair? He has not even looked at the books. He doesn't even know what is there. He doesn't say, it's gone, it's gone. But the president that told uh, Xi Jinping, the president, the Chinese president, he is a reformer that is trying to take a painful route in reforming the economy and the, the nation. Thank you. For a man who's using our money to be buying new jets, for a man who's buying escalates bulletproof, for a man who's spending money like he's going out of fashion, is that how Don Xiaoping managed China before he got to Xi Jinping? Is that how China Mama? He's not reforming anything, he's just wasting everybody's time and creating chaos. And he's trying to get national anger to get to a point, it'll be a boiling point. Let me tell you, my dear friend, everywhere you have seen a tipping point where people have just said enough, it has always been one senseless government policy after the other, with their lackeys coming to say, oh, it's okay. You are forgetting that we're talking about human lives here. We're talking about people's hunger. We're talking about the cost of living of the Nigerian people. What is their excuse? You are telling us now that, oh, NMPC that can say they are bringing a profit of, is it 3.7 trillion as their profit? At the same time, this is madness. This is sheer arrant madness. And we have been screaming about this NMPC forever. Whatever. They came and said they are the experts. And now because they are experts, is, is they will be living in, in plenty and they will expect the citizens to empathize with them. If you want to run a transformational government, 
you start transforming it from your body's side from where you are seated you can't be showing us that we have all the money in the world you are playing anyhow you are running the government of yourself and your children and your family and you expect the nigerian people to accept that you had shown right before they end bad governance protest he was one person that said that is not a smart move nigerians shouldn't shouldn't protest blah 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 he's actually warning nigerians all that he has been one person that has been very very vocal about the the failures of this present tinubu's administration but in that light he didn't accept it he was like no it's not the best move and all that and they never knew if that the problem is going the belt of the hardship is going to be so tightened that even those that were seeing themselves as rich before we come out and start crying and the reality is that right in their faces a lot of believers of bola metinubu have come out to say no this man is a colossal failure we regret some are apologizing some are quietly saying look we can't have this hunger is now looking for how to unite nigerians now if they talk about protest each one tell one the people that everybody will be spreading it if it will be come out to talk about the ills of the government nobody used to go back and say bad way as they used to say before nowadays everybody hunger have made everybody silent you don't even get strength to come attack peter obi again they don't get the strength because 99 percent of them are experiencing what they never believed they were going to experience they believe that bigotry was the way bigotry was going to solve the problem of the yoruba land or whatever it is that they had in mind that was going to happen now the realities are all over the place they have found out so quickly that it doesn't matter who sits on the seat of power if the person has no competence integrity everybody will suffer it when you don't have competence incompetence and lack of integrity knows no tribe knows no religion those that have it are just they just have it and people nigerians are fast coming to the realities of what this thing is and that is why even those that didn't call for protest before are shouting please we need to gather put our head together every nigerian is saying let's join our heads together nobody say no let's continue the bigotry because the more the bigotry continues the more at that level they are tightening the belt and stretching the necks of nigerians let me show you what peter will be said and then i'll show you the exposition and then i'll come and wrap this up this watch the cost of governance and the waste today is criminal and unaccepted. You wake up in the morning, they tell you, we've bought these new cars. The overhead for the entire agricultural ministry is less than 10 billion. By the time you add 160 for new jet, 21 billion for new VP house, 15 billion for library of uh, National Assembly, 15 billion for their clinic and all other furnishings, you find out you are talking about 250 something billion. 95% of the politicians are the same. Shut down the office of First Lady because they had more money than some of my ministry. Nobody voted this way, it's my wife. High food costs, high inflation, and people are saying, we are hungry. Where do we put the blame? Squarely on the man who is in charge. Who is the man they declare the winner. And they're sacrificing No, now. but you can't ask people to fast when you're 50. Now, I love the end of that interview from Peter Obi. That's the snippet of the interview. He said you can't tell people to fast when you're feasting. That's great. Now, let's get more expository news. It says, Sarah Report says, how Tinubu's government used Nigerian Research Institute as front to dole out millions of Naira for unrelated projects. Now, let's get to the body and read. Now, it reads, a review of the public payment portal gov spend have shown that nigerian research institutes are fast becoming conduits for carrying out tax that are outside their stated legal framework most times the money spent on these projects inserted into these research institute budgets are usually more than what is spent on projects that are usually legal functions of these institutions or institutes sarah reporters observed this project range from buying tricycles building boreholes among others this is despite the fact that this institute were basically set up for research purposes to bolster development in a country for instance details on the portal shows that the federal college of 
Production Inspection and Stored Product Technology, Kano, spent the sum of $13.9 million on 30% mobilization for construction of 39 solar street lights in Ecom Boki Federal Constituency, Cross River State. Another sum of $13.1 million was paid as 30% mobilization in respect to construction of classroom blocks in selected schools in Ecom Boki Federal Constituency of Cross River State by the same college in Kano State. In August 2023, a sum of 46.9 million was paid by the Federal College for the installation of solar street light in Baru Town, Bauchi State. All this does not fall under its statutory function. In December 2023, the Cocoa Research Institute located in Ibadan paid the sum of 173.3 million for provision of solar-powered street light in a series to rule local government area of River State. On 5th December 2023, the Cocoa Research Institute also paid the sum of 17.3 million for purchases of tricycle for youth empowerment and women in Katam Katagum, Bauchi State. These expenditures fall outside of statutory functions. In fact, none of the expenditures for this institute's statutory functions actually got up to 173.3 million based on data reviewed by Sahara reporters. A research website of the organization shows that the Cocoa Institute was set up with a mandate around cocoa, cola, coffee and tea. The institute is mandated to use technology and science to improve productivity around these stated crops. The Nigerian Building and Road Research Institute was set up basically for purpose of research. For instance, functions listed on its website include research on local building and construction materials to determine the most efficient way for their usage, research on local construction, foundation and earthworks for building and bridges especially on open soil. However, some of these payments made by the institution which were inserted into the budget negate their core function. On 31st December 2023, the sum of 87.2 million was recorded as paid by the institute to purchase transport cars to empower constituents in Quara North. While the function of the institute is basically research, a sum of 392.2 million was stated as used to build road in Kwame and other areas by the institute. This was stated for 31st December 2023. Another 153 million was paid for construction of Efu Unkochia Road. The sum of 62.68 million was stated to have been used for solar street light in Anguari Buru Burgu Federal Constituency, Niger State. Now you've, you've heard him right. That is just the tip of the iceberg. I beg you to go to New Central and go and see what he had to say. He, he said a lot. And then you can actually see the revelation at the side of how they are using institutions that are not that are not supposed to perform certain purposes putting certain purposes on the budget just to steal money i remember when i talked about one space one uh, 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 what do they call it now uh, one office of space that is supposed to be all about what is happening in space nigerians you know they went there to go and be putting dustbin they went there to go and be putting brooms street lights and millions of naira and the question we started asking is that what does this agency good the word is agency that has to do with space got to do with those being and brooms how what you can you find it you can't even find it now you can see creating agencies using them to manipulate and steal money using them as a medium for embezzlement and then we have an EFCC that have even come to confess. I remember when the EFCC chairman said most recently that fighting crime in Nigeria is a very hard job. Ooh. When I heard it, I smiled. I said it's only hard when you are being appointed by the same people that are actually in bed with criminality. That's when it's hard. So automatically, you can't fight your boss or your bosses. How do you want to go and arrest the ones that actually put you in office? The next day they will remove you. In fact, label something against you and they will lock you up. And they will bring in some other person that is ready to play or dance to the tune. 
So if you have forgotten that it's a, cap, it's a full captured state, then you are making a mistake. That's the first thing that needs to be in your mind. You can see what they are using the DSS to do. Secret service that's supposed to be, you know, you know, operating with some level of maturity and organization and that you don't see on the streets anyhow. Unless there is a threat to, 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 to Nigeria or some other threats that are very serious to the presidency and all that. But you can see them. Somebody fry could say he didn't fry it well. And then the person, other person bought it, they go and bring the SS. They are using them for activities that are unbelievable. And that is how they, are they, they have desecrated the whole department. Turned it to a police. I keep telling you. I said, when all the agencies falls in the hands of the wrong people, this is what you expect. Unfortunately, there is no salvaging of this situation anytime soon because a lot of people still believe that, ah, give him a little more time. Let's see whether he's going to change it. Or I don't give him no time because there is no salvage. Until Nigerians decide to salvage themselves, come to terms with the fact that, look, we either sit at home quietly and die or we go out there and just do the needful and cry out our hearts and tell them, listen, we are tired and force their hands to make a change. Because I can tell you, they are now promoting people that are fighting against Nigerians. Look at the man that shot, he literally killed some people in Abuja during the protest. Shot people with tiagas and everything. Is he not the one that have gained promotion? Maybe that was the deal, who knows? But they have promoted him. The more you commit crime, the more you commit impunity, the more the government recognizes you. That's the government we are in. And that is why you can see a government where it is rare to see somebody that is clean. Every of them have one stain or the other. If it's not EFCC, it's out there in the Western world. That's quite unfortunate. Let me drop this here, guys, so that you can drop your comment. Drop your comment in the comment section. Really love to hear from you. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so that whenever I drop a video, you'll be the first to be notified. Thank you for watching this video. Have a blessed remaining part of the day. I'll see you next time.